free Britney movement has gone viral and with good reason. Fans have long been concerned about Britney Spears and the conservatorship she's still under, and now with the release of Framing Britney Spears documentary, it's got even more people talking. While there's a lot to say about this subject, today we're going to focus on the beautiful 21 acre estate Britney seems to spend most of her time in, located in Thousand Oaks. The pop star has owned a handful of gorgeous properties over the years too, so we'll check out more than one. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Britney Spears is a singer, songwriter, dancer, actress, and more who's been credited with the revival of teen pop during the late 90s and early 2000s, thus earning her the name of Princess of Pop. And I, for one, would agree. Many people, especially the tabloids, have been way too hard on the Princess of Pop over the years, and Britney deserves better. While she's had and continues to have many battles, a lot of which have to do with her mental health, people need to give the star way more credit. Her first two studio albums were certified diamond in the US and global successes, and Britney was also the best-selling teenage artist of all time. I could go on and on about Britney's numerous awards and accomplishments, but I'm sure you already know. Regarded as a pop icon, Brit has sold over 100 million records worldwide. At the time of this recording, Forbes claims Britney's estate is worth about $60 million, and I for one think that number should be much higher. With the conservatorship she's still trapped in and her father Jamie in charge, Britney doesn't get much say in terms of her finances. We do know that her money has bought her some gorgeous properties over the years at least. The pop star still owns Serenity, her longtime family home in Kentwood, where her mom lives, as well as her main 20 plus acre estate in the gated community of Thousand Oaks. Britney formerly lived in other lavish homes like a Sunset Strip mansion, an LA villa that appeared one too many times in the tabloids, a different Thousand Oaks home, and more. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. While we did a Britney Spears house tour in the past, it was time for an update since everyone's watching this crazy documentary and let's be real I love her let's give my fave pop star some love we'll check out Britney's beautiful current mansion as well as a couple other homes of hers that may look familiar as always don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat and now let's get into this video Framing Britney Spears provoked a ton of social media commentary and the like about her father Jamie Spears and the singer's long-running conservatorship. Coincidentally, only three days after the documentary premiered, a Beverly Hills mansion known for being the setting of Britney's 2007 breakdown sold yet again, this time for over $6 million. This estate is located in the Summit, an exclusive guard-gated community high in the mountains above Beverly Hills, and the villa-style mansion boasts about 7,500 square feet of space. The Princess of Pop bought the six bed, 6.5 bath residence in January 2007, paying $6.75 million and moving in right away. And only one month later was the night that Britney shaved her head. Aside from that highly publicized night at the salon, other strange events followed, like nights of wild partying with Paris Hilton and Lindsay Lohan, as well as the two week psychiatric hold that led to the 2008 conservatorship. After only two months of Britney's move in, the home went back on the market, and by 2009, the star had moved out to quieter areas like Hidden Hills and Calabasas. Despite years on the market, the long vacant mansion didn't sell until 2012 and the home has since been flipped and renovated. Listing materials advertised the two-story abode was a former celebrity Mediterranean villa, so it was no surprise, and the home was set behind hedges and trees offering plenty of privacy. Moving inside, the ornate front door opens to the foyer with soaring ceilings and crystal chandelier, while beige stone floors take you to the double height living room. Here there's a fireplace and built-in bookshelves. Other common spaces on this level of the home included a formal dining room with French doors to outside, a sunny breakfast booth set against walls of windows, a fancy chef's kitchen, and another family room with fireplace. Reportedly, almost all the downstairs rooms open to the grounds where you'll find lush gardens and bunches of palms. Also on this level of the home, there's a study and separate staff quarters. Moving upstairs, there are five ensuite bedrooms following a neutral color scheme, and the slight 
slightly over the top master suite, both shades of gold, a puffy curtains, a fireplace, and a private balcony overlooking the pool. That being said, the yard also has a dark bottom plunge pool with raised spa and patio with fire pit. Elsewhere, there's even a built in barbecue and outdoor kitchen, perfect for entertaining guests or a pool party. Despite the beauty of this home, it's definitely just a distant memory for Brittany now, and likely from a time she would rather not remember. Either way, these days the Paw Princess lives in a much grander estate in the Hidden Valley region of Thousand Oaks. So let's move on to that. Before we see the home Brittany has been living in for a while now, she used to own another mansion in the exact same neighborhood. It appears Britt really fell in love with the area of Thousand Oaks, a community in the Ventura County area of California. It's about 40 miles from downtown LA, so the Pop Princess gets some peace and quiet here. Her former mega mansion in this hood was located in the gates of the posh Sherwood Country Club, but she sold it for $7 million in 2017. This single story residence was sprawling with over 8,400 400 square feet of living space and full of luxurious details built to resemble a classic Spanish hacienda. The home had five beds, five baths, and two half baths, and Brittany purchased it back in 2012 with all the money she was making from her successful Vegas residency show. Since we're only taking a quick peek at this house, there are features like a ballroom sized entryway leading to a huge living room with soaring ceilings, elegant fireplace, and black marble wet bar. There was even another great room with huge disappearing glass sliders and a dining area with which opened up to the all-white double island kitchen. While Brittany enjoyed this mansion for a few years and had access to amenities like a games room, two home offices, and a gorgeous swimming pool, she let go of this mansion to move on to her current one. Lucky for Brittany, she didn't have to move too far. In 2015, it was reported that Miss Spears shelled out $7.4 million for her current Thousand Oaks mansion, so she already had it ready to go when she sold the other property. Situated on nearly 21 acres of land, Brittany has more park-like grounds to roam on than you could imagine. The estate is perched on top of a hill in a gated enclave with a mega villa style mansion standing over 13,200 square feet centering the property. Everything about Brittany's home is grand with a marble floored entryway stepping directly down to her lobby sized great room with a ton of windows, 35 foot high ceilings and a huge fireplace. This might just be my favorite room of the home and it's hard to miss since she's featured it on her Instagram time and time again. This sprawling entryway features a grand staircase which will lead you to an open concept second floor area that overlooks that great room. Brittany also loves to dance in her spacious foyer by the looks of it. If you don't feel like using the stairs, her mansion also boasts an elevator. Some spaces to explore include five bedrooms, 7.5 baths, an oak paneled library, and a huge media room or games room. Additional common spaces include lavish living and dining rooms and a center island kitchen with all the features you could imagine, as well as another more casual dining area with bay windows and a fireplace. Brittany also fixed herself a complete home gym in her mansion, which at one point she admitted to almost burning it down. That's because I burnt my gym down, unfortunately. Um, I had two candles and yeah, one thing led to another and I burned it down. The ensuite guests or family rooms are joined upstairs by Brittany's private and massive master suite that comes with features like a private terrace, two custom walk-in closets, and two luxury bathrooms, one with a jetted tub and one with a steam shower. Outside, there's a long list of amenities like 1,200 square feet of patio space, an infinity pool and spa that Brittany loves to take advantage of, an orchard, a tennis court, and small golf course. If all of that isn't good enough, there's a attached pool house with full kitchen, bathroom, and wine cellar that holds up to 3,500 bottles. I'm out of breath listing all the features of Britney's mega mansion. It's more like a village. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this house tour here, but what did you guys think of where Britney Spears calls home? Fit for a queen or for a princess of pop? I think so. While it's concerning that the star spends so much time away from the public eye and under what seems to be a strict conservatorship, I mean, at least Britney has a beautiful sanctuary to call home until she gets her freedom back. Her massive estate is a peaceful setting with park-like grounds and valley and mountain views from all over. As a huge Britney fan myself, I hope that one of these days she's able to speak up and live her life by her own means again. Those days of living in that 9021 villa are long behind her now. I mean, it was over a decade ago. After checking out a few of Britney's properties, including her current one, which was your fave? I think all of them are gorgeous, but my fave is her current spot. It has every amenity imaginable and then some. Be sure to let me know down in the comments. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.